Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I picked up a 4K Ultra HD security system. Um, if you guys didn't know, I'm a jack of all trades. I do it all, so I'm going to install this for family. So it's gonna take me a couple of days, but this is a cool looking system. Um, got this at Sam's Club for about 600 bucks. There was another unit I was really interested in. However, uh, this one had the microphone feature as well as uh, some additional features on here. It had the spotlight. The other system I saw was like 449, so I didn't want to go with that unit because this one comes with 10 cameras and you can expand it up to 12 wired BNC. So hopefully this already fits into my old security system that I already set up here. So let's go ahead and take a look. I'll open this up, get all the pieces out, and then of course, uh, start planning for the project. All right, so as soon as I open this up, it comes with several different pieces. And so the big, question that I need to figure out for myself is if I already have the existing cables that fit this. So uh, typically you get a power connector and a BNC adapter. I guess this is just in here for storage. So this doesn't do anything. This is just to take up additional space. But it's a nice little system. I mean, it uh, has facial recognition. It sends all the messages and everything to your phone. Um, 4K high definition. I don't believe, well, I'll have to check to see if this one has night vision. Um, but from what it looks like, I know it has a camera on it, but typically I prefer night vision, but haven't seen that here on the unit. And the cool thing is, again, it's a 12 DVR system, 12 camera DVR system, two terabytes. All these will be priced for 600 bucks or 599. So I'm gonna piece out everything, see what we got here. Let me go ahead and open this up first. All right, so I have the main box open here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cables here. These are BNC connectors with cable, uh, BNC connectors with the power supply unit. So that is a really good sign, which means I could probably use the existing cables I already have. It's been a while since I bought one of these, so just want to go ahead and piece it out. So let's go ahead and get this separated. And then in this box over here should be all the cameras. And then this box down here should be, actually no, that should be the DVR system and this should be the cameras. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set everything out. And the cool thing that you definitely wanna do for this project is obviously do your homework, but the cool thing is where I'm setting this up at, all the holes are drilled, so I just need to run cables. But if I can already use the existing cables uh, for this unit, I'm definitely gonna use that because I definitely don't want to have to pull anything down to get that to work. So uh, let's go ahead and open up a couple of these just so I can give it a physical inspection. But while I have this out, I believe this might be the DVR. Let's see, you get the power adapter here. And then this is, oh, it comes with a mouse. I know the last system we picked out didn't come with a mouse, so rock on. All right, so here is the Night Owl DVR system, two terabytes. Pretty nice, let's see here. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 12 channels, HDMI, two USB ports, two, no, four USB ports, ethernet for internet capability. Pretty standard now for a security system. And you get your ethernet plug here. Probably don't need that. You know what? I wonder if the system has Wi-Fi. I'll, I'll double check that. I think our internet box is right next to it, so that won't be a problem. Comes with an HDMI cable. No problem there. And here is the instruction manual. I'll just need that for the setup. And so let me go ahead and open up some of these cameras here so I can further inspect them. All right, so here's a look. Here's a look at the instruction manual here. So um, everything is pretty much straightforward. You get all your power connectors, you got your power cable splitter, you know, everything that you'll typically find with a surveillance system set up. Um, I've looked at the cameras, which I'll show you guys here in just a second. Um, they obviously don't have night vision, but it does have a very bright LED light on here. So uh, cool thing is at least the neighborhood is well lit, which definitely helps. 
Unfortunately, these don't have night vision, but the only downfall about night vision is typically it only helps in absolute darkness up to 30 feet, whereas uh, this really helps um, actually being able to get facial recognition and pinpoint who somebody really is. I mean, the night vision and stuff is really cool, but it's really not that effective. Um, too bad it didn't come with both because that would definitely help out in pitch black certain uh, situations. So here's a look at one of the Night Owl 4K Ultra Vision cameras. Um, it has a three-prong mount here for your holes. Um, this is really nice here to have it adjustable. And then, of course, this is the bottom uh, where the LED light is. So those are actually pretty bright uh, based upon what's been uh, demonstrated at the store. And there's your camera. Uh, all waterproof. has a nice waterproof encasing. I do love the design of this because it definitely prevents any water from seeping in or getting in and causing additional rust. And um, this doesn't like you to rust uh, too well or um, rust really fast in outdoors. Now, the other cameras I've had outside, I mean, they've lasted for years. In fact, they were installed back in 2009. This is 2021, and they're still holding up pretty good. So it was about time for an upgrade anyway, and I'm glad the price came down. Uh, these cameras are much more affordable than what I bought years ago. Uh, those are not even 720p cameras, and uh, these are 4K 1080p cameras. Uh, with the mobile cell phone and everything installation that'll be really cool but uh yeah i mean it's a lot cheaper now i mean i got this unit for 600 and uh the previous unit i bought was about 900 dollars, and that wasn't even including installation so uh we're gonna get all these set up It'll probably take me about a day or so thank god all the cables are the same and so here you have your bnc cable and your power adapter there um yeah so this would probably take me I don't know, just a couple of hours, you know, other than moving the ladder and moving around. But thank God I do not have to run any additional cables and everything is already there because that is where most of the work is. But yeah, guys, this is going to be a great system. I'll give you, let you guys know when everything is all set up. So this is a Night Owl 4K Ultra HD wired system, uh, wired spotlight, two terabyte hard drive. And obviously I always have these on continuous run. So, yeah, it's going to be nice angles. And, of course, I already have a TV that's set up for all of this. And I personally think everybody should have some type of surveillance system uh, hooked up or installed around their house so you can know what goes on during the day and uh, when you're gone. So, uh, this is Kill Dykin. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video. And uh, it's not going to be a full installation tutorial, but just wanted to show you guys what I picked up today. All right. You guys have a good day. Bye-bye. So here's the full system with everything uh, set out here. You have your 10 cameras, you have the DVR, you have 10 60 feet cables that have a power adapter with your uh, BNC on here as well for video. You also have your mouse, you also have your HDMI cable, and you also have the power supply directly for the DVR unit. You have your ethernet cable here that comes with it. And uh, this is the power supply units for each one of the cameras. Now, the cool thing that I really, really love about this is they decided to, and it's been a while since I've looked at maybe a couple of the uh, security systems, but the cool thing I love about this is that it's separated. Typically, what will happen is you'll have one power adapter that will power all the cameras. And typically, what will happen is some of the cameras may not get enough power uh, even though in some cases uh, it is working. But I'm glad they separated this because that way this makes sure that each camera gets adequate power in addition to the spotlight that's really that's on here. So uh, that's another added feature. So in some cases, like even one of the pre previous security systems that I've had, all these would just be strapped on to one. So typically in this case, you would have maybe 10 or 12 all hooked up to one power adapter. So they actually separated this by four. So there's uh, three of these. So you have 12, so one, two, three, four. Then of course you have another one of these. And then you have five, six, seven, eight, and then nine, 10, 11, 12. So you have three strands here that's giving adequate power for each camera as well as all the lights. And then of course you get uh, three power supplies included with that for each one. So that's really, really good. So, um, yeah, that pretty much does it for my review. Just wanted to point that out. 
I uh, really love the unit as far as the price and all the specs that it's offering. But the ultimate test is just seeing how it really performs when I hook this up outside. And then of course, uh, this is uh, a outdoor set. You could hook up wireless cameras to this as well, as well as uh, some additional things. But all in all, this, this project is gonna be really easy for me uh, to get this set up here uh, for these people here. And so um, hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, like and subscribe. Catch you later. Bye-bye. All right, so we're back. Um, actually, I was planning on doing a part two to this. I just didn't want to do an unboxing. However, since I am still installing and setting this up, I figured it'd just be best to kind of cover a few things as well as the additional software. Uh, I may do that in a separate video once I have everything hooked up. So um, I did find out that the camera system does have night vision. I was mistaken. Um, actually, the night vision uh technology has improved as you can see there's a bright white light there but let me go ahead and use this one because this one's not plugged in so that way you guys don't have that bright light so the light next to it or that there's an led light so this one on the left of me is the spotlight and then this one over here is the night vision only reason why i found that out is because i was trying to unscrew this and i had it up against my shirt when i was trying to unscrew this to adjust the uh, mounting bracket on this and lo and behold the night vision actually kicked on so typically most systems will say night vision i mean obviously i know it says night owl but yeah you guys get the picture typically will say it but so yes it does have it the other cool thing that i love about this system uh, let's take a quick look at the software is i didn't know that it had this but it has a zoom in feature so um, regardless of where you put the cameras, you can actually zoom in on whatever it is you want to, and you can actually control that as well. And as you can see, the camera light is adjusting to the motion of where everything is on the screen. It'll turn off here in just a second. So yeah, that is another cool feature that you can zoom in uh, using this particular software. I know a lot of uh, systems don't actually have that. So um, just a quick look at the desktop. There's a basic setup instruction and tutorial that you have to go through. Um, it really does a good job with Night Owl. Uh, it does a good job asking you to set this up over the internet. So they do that to make sure all your firmware and everything is updated. And so um, I'm currently not hooked up to the internet. It will be, I downloaded the app for this. So uh, you always wanna make sure that you download the latest firmware. And uh, it also says that in order to be covered under the warranty procedures, uh, you need to make sure you have the latest uh, firmware update. Now, another cool feature while I got this is it does say it picks up audio. Um, typically there's usually three connections on this for audio. I haven't actually seen the mic, don't know where it is, but if it says it does audio, obviously it does audio because that's what the software says it can pick up. All right, moving on really quickly, we're just gonna take a quick look at the software for Night Owl. So this is the menu where I can set up all the cameras on here. And right now I only have three cameras set up. Uh, this is again a 12 camera system, but this particular setup only comes with 10. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you have a record feature. Uh, you can change the image size to five megapixels, eight megapixels, 1080p for super best quality. And then of course, uh, for quality, you can actually pick. Uh, if you're in a high traffic area, I would probably put this as normal and then maybe take it down to maybe four or five. So that way you get better frame rates. I know um, as far as the motion, uh, when you're moving your hand or just have something going fast, uh, you may want to, uh, it is a little laggy a little bit with, with uh, 1080p, possibly even 4K. Um, but yeah, those are my thoughts on that. So that's just something else you guys wanna keep your uh, keep in mind when buying this unit is make sure that you adjust your image quality. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the scenario here. Uh, you can adjust the time lapse, human and face detection, which it does have that on here. In fact, I'll show you guys that here in just a minute. And this light is actually pretty bright. So in ad addition to the night vision, uh, this will pick up somebody's face really, really good at night. Uh, especially if you are already in a well-lit area, like a city street and you have uh, additional lights. Um, also too, if you have lights around the house, that'll also help as well as, as far as additional quality. Um, you also have your storage here. You can export, uh, you have your network uh, settings here. 
uh, you have time, you have your time and your date. Um, you can set this up by the internet if you want to. Here, let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Let me turn this light off. I got all these lights here. Uh, okay, so you have your time and your date set up. Um, you can manually adjust this or you can have it set up by the server. I did it manually because I'm not hooked up to the internet currently. Uh, display, we have channel title, we have events, we have auto locking key. You have your display output. Uh, let's see here, you have, so with your display output, um, this system will detect what kind of monitor you have by itself. So you can put on auto. Currently I'm using a 1080p TV. Uh, you have 4K or 720p. Um, you will get better frame rates typically if you drop this down to 720p. Um, the only thing that I don't see that's that it's kind of lacking, I mean, I know it's kind of determined by cameras, is you can do 30 or 60 frames per second. So either way, other than that, you can kind of adjust that by some of the megapixel counts to kind of help you guys out with motion blurriness or if somebody's walking by really fast or driving by. Things like that would definitely help out. Uh, system upgrade event log online you have auto reboot you have a backup config uh, this system is also good so you can hook up an additional storage drive to it if you want to have additional storage space to uh, let's say transfer your video footage or your snap photos directly over to a PC so remember this does have four USB ports on it um, you also have a power control here as well you can either log out refresh reboot the system or halt the system entirely and as you can see, all the channels right now are currently, uh, those two are currently recording. And this is the device. So all the devices are gonna be hooked up uh, using a coaxial cable, which is your BNC type connection there. And they did a really good job labeling these. I know in the past, you just kinda had to figure out, make sure you had the right end. And uh, when I first started installing security systems, I made that mistake. I hooked it up to the wrong end and I already ran the cable over 150 feet. So I had to pull it out, make sure I had the right end hooked up and start all over again. And uh, for those of you who are used to doing installation, you know that is a pain in the butt just when you didn't check your proper ends. I mean, they look like it's the same, but one specific end goes to the DVR and the other side goes to the camera. Now, as far as the connections, they are both the same connections as far as BNC connections, but because one side has a specific type of setup for your camera and the other one goes on to uh, the power adapter side here. Let me pull it out here like this. Then yeah, it makes a big difference. So uh, that could definitely happen and you don't want that to happen once you think the job is complete and you get ready to plug it in after you already ran a cable for over 150 feet. Over here on the display, you have quad screen duration. Uh, you have call screen, uh, screen duration. Uh, this is if you have multiple cameras hooked up and if you wanna have it rotate you know, every 10 seconds or every 30 seconds if you wanna go from four monitors to uh, the quad, I think up to, there's like typical nine or up to 12 of monitors that you can have. So obviously this will rotate through all the additional settings on here uh, as far as the view on the monitor. So uh, let's go ahead and back out. You have time. You guys don't have to really worry about that. You have your network settings there. And let's go ahead and go back out to main menu. So uh, this is what, what I was referring to as far as having your monitors rotate in this particular setting. Uh, between these here, you have different formats you can select from. You got your standard four. You got your one uh, main camera. We'll pick camera two for right now. You have typical nine. Then of course, 12. And this one's not even supported. I'm not even sure why this one is even added. Probably maybe for a 16 camera setup. So yeah, these are pretty much all the standard layouts that you will have. But yeah, the real cool thing that I love about this unit is you can turn the light, as you can see this one is on, on here. You could turn the light on and off using this. So uh, oh, let me pick the camera here. Let me back out. I was playing with it earlier. 
Maybe it's a different setting, but I know you could turn the light on and off. Ah, there it is. Okay. So yeah, you can turn the light on and off uh, with this particular button right there. There it is. There's another one. Yeah, so you could turn the light on and off uh, with this particular setup, which is another cool thing. In fact, let me turn it on uh, for another camera. Yeah, there's that camera there. So it doesn't have to stay on. So the cool thing about having this type of setup and security system with a lot of them, you just put it in place and the camera picks up whatever they can. Cool thing is you can zoom out, you can zoom in, you can pick which angle you want to zoom in at if I had it zoomed in. So let's go ahead and pick this one. Let's say if I wanted to zoom in, then you could pick whatever spot you wanted to zoom in on with uh, this particular camera. In fact, that's not even that camera. Is that this camera? Yeah, that is that camera. I'll just point it this way for just a second so you guys can see. It's gonna be a busy day, busy, busy day. All right, so you have that camera there, and then of course you could zoom in on whatever spot you want to. A lot of these, again, you'll typically just set up and you can't zoom in or out. So uh, I loved that they added this uh, particular feature to the software. And then of course you could turn the light on, turn it off. So nice, cool setup there. But um, anyway, I'll pro I'm not sure if I'll actually show you guys the final installation because it's a private uh, residence and everything, but I definitely wanted to walk you through some of the software uh, settings on this uh, Night Owl unit. I mean, I really love it as far as all the additional capabilities uh, for this particular device. Uh, reasonable price uh, for this, it was $5.59. Uh, for this, again, the reason why I decided to get it was because apparently it has some type of microphone setting i haven't seen anything in the instructions about it which is the only downfall about this particular setup is i haven't seen a full all-out instruction mail on how to set up everything i mean i know it comes with this but that's about it i can figure out the rest easy no problem but for people who aren't too familiar with it you know like uh family members that i know of that that may be a little bit of a challenge if they're if they're really not familiar with a lot of the software setups and integrations. And uh, even though this does have night vision, I think the company could have done a little bit better advertising it somewhere on here that it has night vision. Because looking at this, you wouldn't think that it does unless I mean it has it there, the other little green button on me obviously. But yeah, you wouldn't really know that it has night vision. So I'm gonna put this camera up against my chest right really quick because it's really dark and then you guys will see the night vision Let's see if the night vision will kick in give me a second here i'll go ahead and blow that up leave it dark for a second i want to see how long it takes to kick in but um yeah i really wish they would have added that it has night vision i didn't feel like standing in the store for a good you know, 30 minutes just trying to look over the information on the box and stuff. I picked this up at Sam's Club, so it didn't have a lot of information on it as far as all the specs on there. I mean, yes, it's safe to assume that it should have night vision, but I just think that it should have it on there. All right, so obviously you can see that it's on right now. You can see that there is a color layout. So yeah, it does have uh, night vision on here with infrared capabilities. So. And then give it a second it'll turn off you can see that's why it changed to black and white but all in all um i know i'm really going to love this unit uh the only difficulty that i think i may have uh, replacing my cameras are the bases because the ones that i have before i can mount it in any different direction it was a metallic bracket and so it came with a adjustable gimbal here. I mean, I know this could be adjusted as far as different angles, but it actually had more play in terms of different angles I could set it up at and stuff um, as far as the bracket. So with this, you have to loosen this to really get in there so you can maneuver it around. So um, we're gonna have some fun with this guys, but again, this is Keo Dyken. Thank you guys for joining in and watching something different on this channel. I've been doing this for years and even pri previously to me, uploading videos on youtube i didn't think people would watch stuff like this 
So, I mean, it was just stuff I would just do for fun and as a hobby. All right. So, but anyway, like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later. And uh, let me know if you have any questions in the uh, comments below. Let's try to get to all the comments and concerns. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.